Watching today's winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black and another retailer announcing major closings. So this time, uh, Office Depot. Is this a winner or a loser? 400 stores. It's a winner. It is. They're acquiring Office Max. And yes, I know some people are going to lose their jobs, and that's not the point of the story. Uh, the point of the story is they're acquiring another company, and there's overlap in some stores, you know, close to each other within a couple miles. Uh, consolidating operations, uh, the company reported a loss of $109 million. They're having a big problem. Whenever I go into an office max there's like three other people it's the size of a football field um, it, more people are getting their office supplies online delivered to their offices so maybe they just need to focus on a smaller box store uh, but again this is not bad news this is good news for the stock the stock reacted positively to it uh, speaking of stock uh, Twitter having some problems there a stock price continues to tumble yeah I tend to say I have some standards and one of my standards is don't buy IPOs in their very first year of trading let the lockups expire now, I like the company, I don't like the valuation, and I don't like the lockup. So maybe if it gets out of control, I'll take a look at it. Today, the stock hits an all-time low. It's gone from $74 a month ago to $35, $36 today. Big 10% drop. Their last quarter was awful. Uh, Facebook, much bigger, still growing. Twitter starting to show some uh, headwinds in their growth. So I would be very cautious. Give them time to let all the insiders sell what they need to sell. Maybe another six months and I check back in. Okay, and that's the lockup, right? Is the people who are insiders in the company can now sell their stock. So they bought the company's shares for like 30 cents. Wow. And at $34, why not sell and buy a yacht, right? <laughs> Watching uh, Apple shares, and what a wild ride it's been over the last two years when we hit uh, $700 a share yep. in 2012, then back down around four, and now back over $600. Yeah, and it, it's a value stock, and that's a bit of a problem because they need to come up with a growth product, but that's not what the point of this story is about. Um, I own shares of, of Apple, for the record. It pays a nice little dividend. It's value. It's value and income. Um, they're the number two now spot in online retail behind Amazon. They jumped over companies like Office Supply and Office Max, and it wasn't really any key new product that they're selling online. It's now that they're just starting to add their hardware to those numbers. So if you go to an, a store and you buy, a, or you get online and you buy an Office mouse, a Mac mouse, uh, they're now counting that as retail sales. They used to just count phones and computers. Now they're counting a little bit more. Um, obviously, iTunes big online presence. So they're just trying to make themselves look cool and look dominant. And I like it. I like it because uh, Apple's a big player. And uh, why not crow and be proud of what you've accomplished? And we always tend to see a run, run up in this stock before a new product gets announced, and then we usually see a drop in it afterwards. It's been the trend at least over the last few years developers conference in June okay. after that probably July August you're gonna see a release of the bigger new phone or will it not be bigger um, but also their last 20 hires have been very high-end medical device experts a lot of people think the watch is not gonna be a computer watch as much as uh, like phone messaging and such but maybe a little bit more geared towards monitoring your blood pressure blood sugar levels uh, fitness we'll see Interesting. Uh, here's a story brought to our attention about people uh, tapping their 401ks before retirement. Not good news there. Yeah, 10 years ago, we tapped the equity in our homes, home equity line of credit, then home values went down, so we can't tap that piggy bank anymore. People are now using their 401k. It's a tragic number because not only do you pay income taxes on what you take out, but you also pay a 10% penalty. So the IRS uh, jumped their numbers of money that they're collecting, $5.7 billion in penalties in 2011. That's a lot of money that you don't have to give away, but people are out of options so the money that they save in their 401k they're pulling it out younger people are doing it too you know that you work at a company get $2,500 they're like ah, eh, why roll it over roll it over don't pay the penalties it's your nest egg it's not a piggy bank all right thank you Rob if you have a question for Rob post it on his Facebook fan page and we'll answer it here on Crom 4 we'll be right back